Today we're going to be talking about the first stage of compression and using that to even out your vocals in a vocal mix. Hi, this is Jeremy from Production Den. So glad to have you on the channel with me today. Today we're going to be covering compression. I'm going to show you how to use the compressor to even out your vocal and then what that compressor is actually doing to the vocal signal. So let's go ahead and jump in. So last week I walked you through the first pass of EQ for a vocal for the main vocal. And then this week I'm going to be walking you through the first pass of compression on that same main vocal. So what we're gonna do is come out to the mixer window. So press F9 if it's not already brought up in FL Studio. And then you're gonna come down to the next empty slot and you're going to press on the drop down arrow, go to select, and then you're gonna go over here under the dynamics and you're gonna look for a free limiter. And I have three of these instances up. It'll make sense here in a little bit because I'm gonna do a before then what's actually happening in the compression and then what everything looks like afterwards. But the first thing that we're gonna do is actually come in to the limiter itself. And when you first come in, this is kind of what it looks like. It has the setups for the limiter. And so you'll go over here and press on the compression tab. And that's gonna bring up another set of um, knobs that you can work with. So this. This knob is the threshold, and then the knee and the ratio, and that's really all we're gonna be adjusting. We might adjust the attack and the release a little bit, but more or less what we're gonna be doing is looking at the waveform, listening through, and what we're trying to do is just even out the highs and the lows. So there'll be parts that are a little bit louder and parts that are kind of quiet, and all we're trying to do is just mess with the vocal a little bit to tighten that down so everything is a little bit more even and things don't get lost in the mix quite as much. So we'll go over to compression, Let's play through a little small section here. So if you look at that little section right there, you can see there's some big peaks over here and over here, but then there's like a quiet part in between. And what we're gonna look to try to do is even that out. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually bring down the threshold to where it's in the middle of that signal, in the middle of that waveform, so that the peaks are coming above that threshold line, but not too much, not everything is coming above that threshold line. We want some things that are still riding below that threshold line and some things that are above it. So let's keep playing the file. And then we'll start messing with the ratio to actually bring in the amount of compression. If you look up here on this top left side as I'm adjusting this, it'll tell you what the compression ratio is. And in this case, I'm gonna push it up to probably like five, five or six, and we'll see how that does. So I'm gonna look at this, and if you put your mouse over top of here, it'll kind of show you up in that top left corner like how much you're affecting. So now that we've, we've done some of the compression, we're evening out some of the highs and lows and getting it to a little bit more of a, a main level, I wanna show you what this is actually doing. So I have a before and an after. So I have, I have three different windows up, and the first window is what the waveform looks like before it's ever gone through a compressor. The second one is the actual compression that's happening. And then this third one is what the waveform looks like after it's gone through the compressor. So let's look at what this thing looks like after we've gone through this same section. You can see the before and the after of what has happened as we've applied the compression to the waveform. So if you look in this section right here, you can see this is the beforehand. You can see where the compression is messing with these things and it's showing you what is actually getting taken off in that purple. So you look at the purple, you can see that it's there, but then when you look over here, it's not. So if you wanna start taking some more off, you can either start dropping down the threshold a little bit or you could maybe bump up the ratio a little bit so it's compressing a little bit harder. And 
Now you can see just between this one and this one, how much closer those peaks are. They're a little bit more evened out than what they were before. And everything's obviously a little bit quieter and we'll compensate that as we go into the next round of compression. But I just, I wanted to show you the before and the after of that, of, of how dramatic that can look. And I'll go ahead and get rid of these other ones. And then uh, another tip is if you want to change the position of a particular effect, if you put your mouse over top of that and use your scroll wheel, you can actually move it up or down in the mixer rack position. So that'll help you move effects around if you need to do that. So now we've done our first round of EQ and this first uh, pass of compression. So this is before, and I'll show you that particular section where there was a lot of variation. Now it's a little bit more evened out. And we've lost a little bit of the volume in that, but everything is sitting a little bit more evenly. So you're not having these large peaks that are hitting up and coming back down. Everything's maintaining a more of an even keel through that process. Well, hopefully it was helpful for you to be able to see how to use a compressor to even out your vocal a little bit in a mix, as well as what the compression is actually doing to the vocal signal. If you have any questions about compression still, please leave those in the comment section below. I have a couple more videos on vocal production that are on the channel, and I will also leave those linked in the description below that you can watch next. And I have a few videos that are planned coming up that are about vocal mixing as well. So if you aren't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you in the next round.